at a Valve event. But as you stated, you know, perhaps a little less comfortable on the teams. I think SG, though, they're comfortable. Like, Costa Bile, Terrorblade, this is the bread and butter. Yep. Tavo on his Tide Hunter. Battling for the bounties. Quinn certainly going to be dying here, but they're hoping to be able to get a kill somewhere out of this, but they won't. First blood fed to Costa Bile. <laughs> At least Mano Tiny approaches. Eventually, they're going to feel like me. Oh, oh no! That yes, is ended. another miscommunication from Quincy Crew. Now LOA is going to be running into the rolling thunder of KJ and Quincy Crew. They just got to get out of here. Quinn. They turn around, throw some damage on a KJ, but Adriano's on his way. They're going to be able to catch Quinn oh, here. They dissimulate away, jump out. Adriano, the last tree. Is it going to kill him? Oh, he lives. The, the shield was enough. You are TP's out. Less okay. loud is good as well. Shown, you know, like it's unfortunate. They came so close, they blew both of their spirit vessel charges, yeah. so that hurts. But they did show that they can kill Leslau. Tavo try and catch LOA here. They're gonna leave the ogre behind before DR sandwiches, catches the Marana. Any follow up stuns could get the kill on MSS oh, as well. They're gonna pop the meta just to ensure this double kill. You are he gets. God, King Jungles finds him with the Rolling Thunder. They do have a dust. They're going to be able to Ravage, hold him in place, and a big kill on the carry. SG Esports win a big, big fight in the bottom lane. Okay, well, I don't know what they what they did in between. Inker with his Aghanim Scepter could really stall out this game. But they picked him off. Another 10 seconds. 10 seconds where Arrow... It's a little awkward. He does seconds. have an Aegis, but even just slowing down the time he's hitting that building is good. Oh Ravage is going to go down. They're going to go for it here. Committing. They've already got the Ogre kill. Lesla is a little bit low, but the Tinker is back, and they've got to be careful of this. That Aghanim Scepter is dangerous. It's already killed the Tide Hunter. 40 yards very low as well. Okay, so a couple interesting things. TB, like, running. That is a very tense part of the game. Next Roche is really... The window and it is up. You have the BKB Terror Blade. Maybe if you're killing LOA. Oh, bots two. Tinker, okay, bots two, but probably for the best that he decides not to TP onto the Ogre. A simple five position pickoff. Maybe more here. Actually, the Ravage are going to be blown here. They're going to try and hunt to zero and they will manage to get him. Leslo gone. 60 seconds as well. What happened there? Because they got the kill in this game because this is the difference between being able to have a chance at TI and just being eliminated before you get oh, the main oh, stage. Quinn, Quinn is going to be Quinn. caught. Yule Scepter, Aether Remnant, pull him back in. The rest of the team is on the way, and here it is. King Jungles is here, baby. Rolling Thunder one. Doesn't need a second one. Maybe can catch up to MSS as well. And one more leap charge to be able to get to low ground. Slowing him down, and they've got him. That's a gem on the deck as well. Quincy Crew is beginning to fall apart. Oh, my God. The courier? Okay. They get the courier. The gem is dropped again. Theo LaCour ground. Managed to win that best of one. This is a $500,000 series, actually. $500,000 series, and again, maybe even more, right? Like, yeah. just getting the opportunity to play. Yeah. You win that best of one, you go up to 9 through 12. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we're talking millions. Yeah. And, and that is why that is why you're watching a Dota game. Dota is naturally a game of errors. That's just the way it is. But this is why TI is so special. Because really, yeah. it's so it's good. Insane. It also pierces BKB, if I'm not mistaken. It's just not listed in the tooltip, correct? We talked about this last time, and I was like, that sounds crazy. Oh, Breaking oh. the tiny. Stun one, King Jungle's gonna be able to bounce back and forth. It's so hard to be able to get out of this. They're gonna ravage uh, to cover it. It doesn't hit anybody on Quincy Crew, but they do get a silence onto the Tinker. Tinker's in trouble. He's getting run over. Quincy Crew have to leave him for dead. They both have buyback. What the? But you have to assume that SG is going oh, to. I... He's so close to being able to buy back and have BKB on the Tinker. SG. Uh, only with they, they're one racks for megas. They they're gonna force buys for megas. They certainly are gonna force buys. Leslau trying his best. Quincy will have to know that they're going to have to buy back if they want to stop this. Are they willing to give up megas potentially? They use the glyph. They pop it early. Okay. okay. It's getting tight. 
SG, they forced that out of him. Now's the chance. They're going to go straight up for Leslau first. Leslau is dead. The buyback still being held no by Quincy they Crew. No they have no glyph. Now the buybacks come in. Oh. Mega still not taken just yet. 40 yards in deep. Tinker has already been used up in the air. 40 yards. Oh, Used that one silver edge hit, but toss number one, toss number two. Oh, the BK he left. doesn't have the rafts, goes in. They do see Quinn, but he managed to get a DR away. He blinks out. Oh, they, they don't see him. They see him. Devil King juggles. He spotted him. Yule stepped there first. The other one is there as well. He goes out with the laser, but they close to be least dead. They went for the Tinker, but they lost their carry. And now 40R. All these heroes are low, but he can't do enough. He doesn't have the damage. He doesn't have his carry. SG. They tried so hard. They've been working at this for buybacks. They have a buyback on, on UR2 for Quincy Crew, so they can just be really aggressive with this. I do not see how King Jungles and Adriano are going to be able to hold this. Glyph first, right away. They're just going to go for base. Uh, it's, it's a double deal. They have to take it with the DD. That's smart. Yule Scepter onto the Tiny. That'll slow things down a lot, but it does cost King Jungles his life. Yul's arrow, he has a buyback. He's gonna have to Rolling Thunder in soon. Yuar's just doing too much damage. Oh. Quincy Crew, it's been a hard run for them in the group stage, oh. but with this, they will be able to get the 2-0 against SG and by most circumstances, keep themselves out of elimination. There is still one series to go for both of these teams. But Quincy Crow <laughs> in just a sweaty.